<laughs> Another one! They've already got like four at the intersection. How many phone booths do they really need? Whoa! That bus is so old. What am I even looking at? And all these cars are so blocky. They look so weird. Oh, I think I've seen signs like that before. They're just like in those retro videos I've seen under the Showa era tag. This is kind of surreal. Even the stoplights here are huge. Stop wandering off on your own, Kisaraki. Wait, okay, for real though. They seriously haven't invented smartphones yet? <laughs> this is so crazy! How do they even talk to each other? <sighs> Whoa. Oh, oh my god. We really are in the 80s. I can't believe that hair. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop laughing. <gasps> what even is that? A pompadour? The Showa era is so weird. And what the hell are you laughing at? Huh? Your hair, duh. I just said. You trying to start shit? What the show it? What? Huh? You're you Please excuse us. I'm afraid she's a little. Well, she has difficulty with social interaction. Hey! Don't make me sound like some kind of weirdo. Please, carry on. I'll give her a talking to once we're home. <sighs> Goddamn freaks. Well, there goes Stop my day. causing problems. You realize we're only here with the help of this era's facilitators. If we're to be accepted here, we must respect the place. We're essentially foreign refugees. Don't forget that. So, about those facilitators. You mean Shikishima? The military corporation? All they care about is getting their hands on future technology. You sure we're not being used? That is not your concern. I remember seeing that company in the news back in 2025. They make everything from fridges to missiles. They've got tons of factories across the world. Sakura High. I trust you know where to find it? It's the same school. I expect you'll adjust quickly. That is not my school. Everyone from that class is old enough to be my mom. Don't act like it's the same. We left mine back in 2025. Take me back to my own time. I thought I explained this already. The world was destroyed. Okay, fine. Let's say that's true. I've still got to go help my mom and dad. They won't be there. It's already too late. I doubt you'd get the clearance to time jump anyway. That another one of their orders? I didn't want to get dragged into this. Am I supposed to just take it? Whatever you say? Precisely. You should count yourself lucky to have escaped with us. Kisaragi-kun, I understand your situation, but I need you to cooperate. I never saw it myself. The world was destroyed, apparently. What do I even say to that? Yeah, cool, got it. Still, even if I begged to go check it out, something tells me they aren't gonna let me. What I need is a little leverage over them. I gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now? 
I'm way back in 1985. So, like, how old am I, technically? Until further notice, here are your orders. Do not act on your own. Remain inconspicuous. And for now, simply attend school as usual. Am I clear? Corporation, so then I could like control them a little. Huh? Uh, Sami chan, that's a little weirder than I was expecting. So everything back home's been destroyed? Yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. I gotta get leverage and go back to my own time. Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. So in 2025, I would have been almost... I could do this in a snap if I had internet here. Manually searching through books? So inconvenient. Internet? Uh, oh! Uh, like... You know, net profits. Big business talk. <laughs> or something. I've been meaning to tell you. I found a cafe with some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? Sounds good. Those crepes from yesterday are gonna be hard to beat though. Back home, they went a little too crazy with the toppings. Sometimes simple is best. Hmm, good point. Crepes would be nice too. Do you think we could get both? Uh. Check her out. How does one person sleep that much? I scoured the whole library for reference materials. Wasn't hard to find things on Shikishima, but... It's just like... Stock market stuff. I should have known. Nothing I could use as leverage. Hey, Miwako. I know this is random, but... There's this company called Shikishima Industries. You know anything about them? Shikishima... They're the ones who make ships and things, right? Hmm... I have this old friend. His father works for them, I think. Seriously? Miwako, can you do me a favor? I want you to introduce me. Sure! Yes! Those big megacorps always have shady stuff hiding in their HQ. One step closer to getting the dirt.
You said your friend goes to the school, right? They're still not here. Did you get the meeting time wrong? No. Did they just ditch? Oh, don't worry. He'll be here soon. He's not the type to break promises. What's up? I'm here. It's that Pompadour guy! Hold on. What's he doing here? This is my old friend, Nenji Ogata. You're kidding. So, uh, where's she at? You said some girl was looking to ask me out? What? Well, um, that would be her, Usami-chan. Huh? You're the chick who shat on my hair. Real dog face, aren't you? The heck is that supposed to mean? I take it you're not calling me a cute puppy. Okay, hold up. What did you say to this guy? Just that a girl I knew wanted to tell him something. And he thought that was a confession? How dumb is he? I'm standing right here. Why'd it have to be you? The feeling's mutual, man. Please, can't we all calm down? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. What was... My name is Nenji Ogata. Get it straight, dogface. Oh, excuse me, Captain Pompadour. I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Don't give me any stupid nicknames. All right, smartass. Please, we can't be fighting right now. into all these buildings it's like we were attacked <sighs> do you know something i know the city got leveled you saw that flash right must have been a nuke uh, a nuclear bomb you realize we were at school just now isn't this downtown? Way I figure it. The blast must have knocked us all the way over here. Okay, never mind. You're just a moron. Hey! You're like a big greasy roach. I bet you could survive a nuke no problem. <sighs> you got a better idea? What the hell else could have happened? If we're here, then... No way. If it's nuclear war, then that means... There's radiation everywhere! We're going to die! We have to run, or get cover, or... Deep breaths, Miwako. I'll try.
This is... Keiakicho. Huh? Oh, you're right! Look at that sign! We must be near the shopping district. The hell? You know how far that is from school? Look, I don't know what the hell happened. But nobody else is here. Think they all evacuated? Well, then where... Where's everyone else? Miwako. Dad! Mom! Look, I don't know what the hell... But nobody else is... Think they all... messed up like this, but I think we're in the year 2025. 2025? Are you crazy? This is my home. Well, was my home, I guess. In case I didn't mention, I came from the future. must be getting to me and that show that came on in the middle of the night wish that was just a dream back in my dream he called himself Tetsuya Ida we look identical but that's not my name so in my dream her soul was in an Android body that's got to be the craziest feeling what would it even be like, not having a body of your own? This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. The Yuki Inaba's been hijacking the airwaves. Also, she can talk to me through the TV. She knows me somehow. Not just that. She says I'm the only one she can depend on. <sighs> I'm still waiting for the punchline here. Hmm? Yuki-chan. Maybe Yuki-chan's in the cafeteria.
I see Tomi Kisaragi in there. Ah, come on. What am I getting self-conscious for? It was just a dream. It's got nothing to do with anything I actually feel. But if I bump into her, things could get awkward fast. <sighs> what I really need now is a cold drink. Just gotta grab a drink, sit down, and chill out for a sec. Sugar boost. Yeah, a little pick me up should do it. this time don't you have the place to yourself right now I want to check it out it's true my grandma's away visiting relatives but well right now I have a guest staying over things are a little awkward so uh, sorry it's just not a good time well all right Let's go to my place then. Thanks. Looks like all we've got is soda. Thanks, Amiguchi-kun. It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Oh. 
You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. Maybe I could tell Kurabe-kun about the TV stuff? He's one of the only people who might believe me. How do I even bring it up? Don't want to get this wrong. I know if I don't make myself absolutely clear, I'll just come off as a crazy fanboy. Actually, maybe I better keep my mouth shut. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh... Do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh... Any specific reason you don't want to go home? <laughs> well, anyhow. Want to get food? We could swing by the video store. Pick up something new to watch? Oh, speaking of... Before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For you... and me. Memory transfer complete. Now, open your eyes, Juro. Or, maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. Do you recognize me? seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year, we enter the 22nd century. How do I look now? Oh, this is horrific. No arms or legs, not even a face. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero. Brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're gonna have a little chat about your research. Let's talk about your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the interlocitor, downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off, so I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success, but all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Did you hit 
some snag with the method? Okay, maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. System security. You've been bringing me back and killing me for a long time. You even got me to tell you how to interrupt the D-Force's production. Must have been painful if you got that out of me. Handling the Dimos code is dangerous, you know. How far back did you look? I really need to keep an eye on you. So that's your process. Copy me into this husk of tin. Then it wastes me once you have what you need. You're a dangerous man. Better get rid of you early this time. Can't afford the risk. Itakun. What's wrong? I found out from Mori Morrison. You're trying to transplant my mind, aren't you? You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. But she's you. It'll be your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? <sighs> You know she's dead. The girl you're talking to. She's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Even if... Even if you steal her body and transfer my mind... Please. Please, I... Without you, I'm... You know I love you. But... I can't support you. I can't support this. Oh, that explains why you woke me up. It sounds like things aren't going according to plan. Who's that? Uh, well... I can tell you your biggest failure right now. Just standing right there. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. You could have gotten everything you want. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi. Prisoner 426, aren't you? Why did you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. We're both his means to an end. Tools to be used and thrown away. Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. I had a couple more questions, but we'll get to them another time. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Hmm? Paranoia getting to you. You didn't need to keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Or maybe you had 
had the same contingency plan for her. You could raise her and start over as much as you wanted. Uh, I've heard enough. You don't need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here, we're just data. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life. Just like you did to me. I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. That's right. Better watch carefully. Never know what might happen. There. Deleted. That should do it. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. <sighs> Are you mad at me? Data transmission had been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me. And by one of my past selves, no less. So, how are you doing? <sighs> what happened? Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, son. Sorry. But I need this body more than you do. Sleep watching a video. Looks like Karabe kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Ah. Uh, that dream just now. Feels like it started off the end of the last one. You saw the video. Hey! Man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Are you still... the same Shu Amiguchi? Yeah, I saw it. But what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... He's the same as you. Watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea. He doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. Or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. I keep seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? 
Okay, so what's this plan? Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't gonna be some big evil scheme, right? It's not. It's called Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity. As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. And whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Wow. put it like that maybe you've got a point I should slow down and think a little still though uh, hey are you even listening uh, I'm back it's happening all over again we gotta do something the kaiju are coming! What? Really? Where? I mean, like, not yet. They get here after we get on this train. How do you know that? Because I saw it. Uh... Shit, how do I explain? Hey, Kisaragi. You don't have some kind of key handy, right? What does that even mean? I have the key to my house. Is this it? Nah, probably not. I mean, hell, even I've got some house keys. That's what that guy was saying. All this stuff about how I've got to find a key. No idea what the hell he's talking about. But I gotta find a way out of this crazy loop. And right now... The only clue I got is this key thing. So Kisaragi always gets on that train. And the train always crashes. Once she's on, she's basically dead. How the hell can I make her understand? What's this key thing they keep talking about? How the hell do I even find it? What do I do? Just go through everyone's goddamn pockets? None of this shit makes sense. Who even is that voice? How'd I end up in this mess? And where the hell was I? It was like... I don't know. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Like an alien lab or something. It looked just like that. I was... butt naked, too. Hey, uh... You don't look so good. Seriously. You're being really weird. Isn't that... I feel like I know that guy she's with. Who is he? Why are you being all sneaky? I, I don't know. No reason. 
Wait, that's Iori over there. <sighs> what are you hiding from Iori? That's not it. What? Don't tell me you like Iori. Hey, it's not like that. <sighs> Isn't that... Karabe? Hey! I'm still talking to you here. <sighs> Stop dodging the question. I want a real answer. For real, it's not like that. Hey! I'm still talking to you here. <sighs> then what is it like? What do you care? You're not my girlfriend. Why are you even getting so worked up? <sighs> it's not a big deal, I was just curious. Sheesh. Fancy meeting you here. Osami-chan! Iori, your place isn't this way, right? Where are you going with Okino-kun? I've just got a thing over in Tsutsuji. There's the train. Let's go, Okino-kun. See a couple school kids uh, about my age. A couple school kids? What the hell? Was that like magic? Nah. What the hell am I thinking? Okay, look. I know this seems real sketchy. I mean, heck, I'm the guy who chased you onto a train here. There's something I gotta know. Do you have some kind of key on you? I mean, not like a regular house key. It's supposed to be kind of special, except I don't really know how. <sighs> yeah, this still sounds pretty damn weird, huh? question. Man, I don't know how I'd even explain it. You're looking for the key? <sighs> You're the one who originally carried it, young man. The school nurse? Wait, I was just talking to Fuyusaka. <sighs> Wait a sec. Are you Fuyusaka, or... Wait, I know you. The League of Darkness. I remember now. You're one of the bad guys. This'll only hurt for a moment. <laughs> playing this late? Should you be out here alone, young man? I'm not playing! I'm training! Say... You must be Nenji Ogata-kun, right? How about I walk you back to your house? Uh, you're fishy, lady. You talk like the League of Darkness people. They say all that same stuff when they kidnap kids. The League of Darkness? The bad guys from Common Hero, duh. Right, kids and their TV. But you know... I think you're the real bad guy here. 
Eight years from now, you're going to call a bunch of monsters and destroy the world. Am not? I'd never turn to the side of evil. You're still going to do it whether you're good or evil. Sometimes, things just happen. You can't trick me. I'm not Hold gonna it. get kidnapped. Little punk. Missed. <sighs> that was close. I guess I just did a big lap around the block. What do I do? She even had a gun. She tried to shoot me. She really is from the League of Darkness. I gotta tell the police. Don't move. You're a bad boy. Am I gonna die? It'll only hurt for a moment. I've just implanted you with nanomachines. It'll add onto the program inside you. It's not a huge change. But it's something we'll need to fight back. And now, we can prepare our weapons. The Sentinels. Man, that stinks. Uh, didn't I just get shot? Did you find the key? Okay. I still don't know what's going on here. But getting shot made me remember something. She shot me back when I was a kid, too. You were shot. I'm going to need you to explain the situation. I was on the train, and the nurse from my school shot me. There were even other passengers around, too. No, wait. That was definitely Fuyusaka. She was all grown up, but I know that was her. Wait a moment. Slow down. You're talking about trains. Where is this happening? It's the place you keep sending me back to. The train platform. And this happened when I chased Fuyusaka onto her train. <sighs> so you're looking for the key on a train platform? Well, yeah. Wait, you mean... You don't even know where you keep sending me back to? Okay, I see. That means the person with the key is somewhere around there. You just keep looking. Where do I get the explanation? Same guy that Tamausan gets her pills from. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. If he's in 1985, then Chihiro will be with him. According to Natsuno san, a boy named Renya Goto attends school in this era. He can apparently travel through time, too. And BJ said he's from 80 years in the future. That scout unit is an alien from the future. At least that's what Natsuno-san says. 
the footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? <sighs> All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. Katsuno-san. <sighs> Get it together, Kate. Uh, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Could he be at the school? I don't care what it takes. I'm going to find him. And I'm going to get Chihiro back. Renya Goto is Natsuno-san's senpai. He also attends the school in 1985. And according to BJ, he's from even further into the future. <laughs> Miyura-kun! Natsuno-san! Thanks, but I'm fine. In fact, I came here to find Renya Goto. But I have no idea what he looks like or how he dresses. Could you point him out to me? That might be a little tough. Goto Senpai hasn't been back on campus. I asked around, and no teacher knows where he lives. Well, that's a problem. Miwako! Done with practice already? Oh! You have that picture of Goto Senpai, right? The one you took when he wasn't looking? <laughs> hey! Not so loud! Sorry, sorry. So do you have it? Yeah. Yes, this is it! Miyura-kun! Look, I've got a picture of Goto Senpai! Pardon my interruption. He's the tall guy in the back. This here is Renya Goto? The one with the glasses? Yep, that's him. Thanks, Miwako. <sighs> Natsuno-chan. What's going on between you and that guy? Huh? Nothing's going on. Just a normal, casual friendship. <gasps> casual? You mean... N no Not that. How could this be? The man I saw at the park was Renya Goto. The bastard who kidnapped Chihiro. Hero? It really is you, isn't it? Please say something. I found this. It survived the air raid. I meant to give it back to you earlier. This is your favorite stuffed animal, isn't it? Big... Big brother! Don't lose it again, all right? I won't. Chihiro... It really is you. I'm so relieved you're safe. <laughs> I suppose it's true. It's not like my memories were displaced. My blissful dependency as your little sister. It's become part of my identity. Denial can cause enormous strain to one's psyche. 
Chihiro? Are you okay? Better than okay. I've regained my original memories. I'm Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You're the one who insisted on keeping that a secret. Yet you gave it away in the end. It's you. Sometimes a bold change in plans is necessary. You'd know that better than anyone. Wouldn't you, Goto-kun? I didn't expect to see you here. Renya Goto. What the hell did you do to Chihiro? <sighs> I don't appreciate the hostility. But what you see here is Chihiro in her original state. She was never your little sister to begin with. Shut up! I'm not listening to a word you say. I won't forgive you. And I will avenge Tamao-san. I believe you misunderstand the situation. Chihiro, listen to your big brother and come with me. We're going. Where, exactly? Back to 1945 where no one's left? Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. <laughs> if we have any hopes of preventing the loop, we need to prioritize gaining control over all systems. You've always been the dependable type. You used to be an excellent design engineer. What are you talking about? I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. That's what you told me, remember? So please, cooperate. <sighs> Is everything prepared, Gojo-kun? Already. Good. Then I shouldn't waste any more time. Let's hurry. Chihiro! <sighs> Don't even bother. Get out of my way! Chihiro is coming with me. She's being targeted for assassination. <laughs> and I highly doubt you have the capacity to protect her. What? Who would... A Sekigahara. Should you decide to cooperate, let me know. <sighs> Sekigahara. Did he travel through time too? Is that how he got here? Tamao-san. The military police are gone for now. How are things looking? They're searching for Kiriko-san. I can't believe she's a spy. They seem to think she's associated with him. He must have dragged her into this. I just don't understand. Why protect a wanted man? <sighs> that woman... Her name isn't Kiriko Doji, and she doesn't come from this world. You're a lunatic. I don't get it. What could she want with the Sentinel? You know about the Sentinel? You really are a spy. If she were to try and escape, she'd likely use the gate. If we leave now, we might be able to catch up to her. Sekigahara-san, please, I have to know the truth. I was told that my parents aren't really my parents, and that I was brought here from the future. Is that what Kiriko Doji told you? I don't know why she'd lie, but I think that explains the dreams I keep having. She's tampered with your memories. He's out of his mind. Don't listen to a word he says to Mao Sun. We should just turn him in. Keitaro san, please. 
I don't want it to come to that. Keitaro? As in Keitaro Miura? How the hell do you know my name? I see. So it's you. What are you on about now? You and I have been fighting alongside each other. I've never seen you before in my life. The Miura of this era hasn't. The Miura of the future has. The future? Yes. He no longer has his physical body. His consciousness is currently stored inside a scout unit. Then... Keitaro-san is... One and the same. I've had enough of this nonsense! You, come with me! I'm taking you in! Don't move! <gasps> Sekigahara-san! You bastard! Like you said, I'm out of my mind. Poison is coursing through my brain as we speak.